CBS News Detroit at 11 starts now. The Lions are running with yet another running back. Thanks for joining us tonight on CBS News Detroit at 11. I'm Jeff Skaversky. Shana Humphreys has the night off. The big story tonight, the Detroit Lions. Big and bold move in the first round of the NFL draft. Trading the sixth overall pick, moving back to take yet another running back to the surprise of many. Let's get right to sports anchor Ronnie Duncan, who is live tonight at Lions headquarters in Allen Park. Ronnie, the Lions perhaps shocking many across the NFL, even here in Detroit early tonight in that first round. But they got the best running back they thought they could get. The best running back they say by some was Bijan Robinson, who went early in the draft. But they went down and they got a young man from Alabama who, Jeff, quite frankly, I've seen him play and he can do so many things. I'm talking about Jameer Gibbs. Let's take a look at Jameer Gibbs because when you see this young man on the field, it's quite evident at 5'8", he is a shifty runner and he can do some of the things that we're going to need here in Detroit. This is when he played for Georgia Tech. Of course, last season he played for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Breakaway speed. I asked him during the interview. I said, man, is this the best fit for you? Here's his response. When you look it over in the landscape, was this the perfect fit for you for your type of running, your skill? Yeah, I think it's a great. I think it's a great fit for me. They, you know, how they use Swift. They, uh, they put him in the slot sometimes too. And you know, obviously he's in the backfield a lot as well. Uh, I just think I'll be, uh, uh, you know, however, um, I come in and whatever role they have me in, I think I'll just, you know, I'll excel in that. I like the pick. A lot of people are probably saying, why didn't we get somebody else? Well, we did get someone on defense, and I speak of the linebacker. You see him here. He reminds me of Jack Ham. Remember back in the day with the Pittsburgh Steelers? I speak of the inside linebacker, Jack Campbell. No relation to Dan Campbell, but he's happy to be here as well. This draft was interesting, especially when you consider what happened in the first five picks. How did it all go down? Here's a look at the draft, one through five, and a shocking decision. Overall pick was really no surprise. Bryce Young, the all-everything quarterback from Alabama, goes to the Carolina Panthers. The Houston Texans, well, they selected quarterback C.J. Stroud from Ohio State. At number three, Houston came right back after trading with Arizona and took Will Anderson, Mr. Defense from Alabama. Here's the big surprise. Anthony Richardson was the third signal caller to go as the Indianapolis Colts selected the Florida quarterback with the fourth pick. Rounding out the top five was the Illinois defensive back, Devon Witherspoon, who many thought the Lions had their eyes on. Instead, he goes to Seattle, the Seahawks. Perhaps the biggest move and the most cautious one was when the Philadelphia Eagles selected troubled Georgia star, Mr. Defense himself, Jalen Carter, ninth overall. Wow, when you consider ninth overall for Jalen Carter, he dropped in this draft. But let's again go back as far as the Lions are concerned. Recap, they get an outstanding running back out of Alabama, played most of his career at Georgia Tech, and that, of course, is the young man that they traded for, and look who they got, Jameer Gibbs. And then the inside linebacker with the 18th selection pick, the linebacker, Jack Campbell. I'm happy with the draft. One thing I'm not happy with, the Tigers. They lose to the Baltimore Orioles 7-4. to They had the lead, but then Baltimore scores five runs in the seventh inning to win the game. Now, tomorrow I'll have more on the draft picks, and we will hear from Coach Campbell as well as Brad Holmes, and these young men will be able to talk to us live right here in the D. Reporting live from where the Lions play at Allen Park, Ronnie Duncan, CBS News, Detroit. Jeff? All right, thank you so much, Ronnie. So David Montgomery, DeAndre Swift, and now Jameer Gibbs. Yes, the Lions are loaded at running back. Lions season ticket holders were at Ford Field tonight for a watch party, but not everyone is in love with the Lions' first pick tonight. Jameer Gibbs, is, you know, I'm kind of scratching my head after that one. And it kind of leads me to think, what are we going to do with Swift? It's surprising. It's higher than I thought I was seeing in these guys. We got uh, we got Swift and Montgomery there, so we got a crowded backfield. But uh, we can ease them in. It's definitely higher than I saw him mocked a lot of places, that's for sure. But who am I to judge with the genius of Brad Holmes? Well, perhaps Lions fans will change their tune when they return to Ford Field when the season kicks off in the fall. This time next year, of course, all eyes will be on Detroit as the NFL draft comes to downtown.
Hosting such a massive sporting event will have a major impact on this city. Our Terrell Bailey is in downtown tonight on Woodward Avenue. Downtown to see how the city is preparing for next year's NFL Draft. In a year's time, there will be a lot of action and activity in downtown Detroit. City leaders say this is a time to show the world what the city of Detroit is all about. The city says they're estimating between three and 400,000 visitors coming to the city for the 2024 NFL Draft. I mean, you know, it's going to be hustle and bustle. It's going to be great for the city. The last time an NFL event took place in the city was 2006 for the Super Bowl. And Detroit has had a bad rap, but we're, we're changing that. We're making a comeback, and through our citizens and through the de departments that work for the city of Detroit, we're ready for this. With all 32 teams coming into town next year, local small businesses have already started their planning process. We have to order stuff a year in advance for some things. So we're already looking to order uh, merchandise for next year for the draft. Like when it comes down to crunch time, we're probably, I guess our business will probably pick up at least a month ahead of time. Though the draft festivities will primarily take place downtown, the city knows travelers will be throughout the area and they're hoping everyone will appreciate what Motown has to offer. We've increased our cleanup efforts. We've taken over the freeways, making sure that they're ready to go. Safety, of course, is something that comes to mind when having large events. CBS News Detroit is told that local authorities are already planning and practicing. We've already put efforts in place to uh, address any emergency situation. As the countdown is on, city leaders say they are working with small businesses throughout the city to make sure they are part of the draft process. For businesses, they are just excited the city that oftentimes receives a bad rap will begin to emerge in a new light. You got hockey down here, you got basketball down here, you got football, all of them right within a mile of each other. And people are just, they're happy for the city of Detroit. Reporting in Wayne County, I'm Terrell Bailey for CBS News, Detroit. Well, the city sent a team of leaders to Kansas City this week for this year's draft to see how it comes together and to bring back ideas for next year's event, which kicks off April 25th. Hopefully there's great weather. Speaking of, here's meteorologist Ahmed Badji with tonight's forecast.